Hi, I'm Andrea Estrada with Omni Healing Arts. During the winter season, we tend to make pretty poor food choices and drink choices. And as a result, our digestion and immunity can become compromised. So with that being said, I wanted to offer up a few tips and strategies on how to counteract this. So the first thing we have to look at is our digestion, which is very weak during the winter time. If we look to the natural world and we look to nature as a signpost for our own natural rhythms, we notice that during the winter, animals hibernate birds chirp less, everything becomes very still, and the leaves actually fall off of trees. And the thinking is, is that the human body attunes to that rhythm, and therefore our digestion slows down and becomes quiet as well. So when a tree loses its leaves, essentially what the plant is doing is it's pulling its reserves out of its extremities and pushing it down into the roots so that the plant can survive the freezing temperatures of winter, which means root vegetables are our friends during winter. So I encourage you to eat root vegetables during the winter time. If you don't know what's growing underground locally near you, visit your farmer's market or your natural food club so they can help you find out what is growing underground and eat that. Next, try to minimize salads. Salads are very good for you, but collectively they are cooling in nature and you don't want to be eating cooling foods in a cold season. It's like putting ice on ice. So 80 to 90% of your diet should be warm cooked foods during the winter, which will help your digestion and keep your immunity up. Specific foods to incorporate, I would say, are garlic, basil, ginger, green onions, and black pepper. All of these foods are digestive tonics and support the immune system, but specifically, garlic actually thins the blood and lowers cholesterol, which is great for all of the heavy fat foods that we eat during the winter season. Basil is very soothing to the liver, which is weak during the winter. It also bolsters digestion. And ginger, natural anti-inflammatory and the premier digestive food in Chinese medicine. So. The anti-inflammatory effect is really important as our joints flare up during the winter time. Green onions taste good on almost anything. They're a wonderful condiment, soothing to the liver, very good for the immune system, and they help thin the blood. Black pepper, lastly, will help us absorb the mineral nutrition from our food. So that's really key during the winter when our digestion is weak. We want to absorb all the nutrition and black pepper helps us do that. Lastly, coconut oil is the food I suggest people eat during the holiday season because there's a predominance of animal fats during the holiday season. There's lots of pork, beef, lamb, chicken, and so on. So coconut has a very specific profile in that it's immune boosting and its function. It's thermogenic, which means that it boosts the metabolism, which is important during the winter time. And lastly, it's the only fat that doesn't require any bile from the gallbladder to break it down. So the liver and gallbladder are weak in the winter, so coconut oil helps you be merciful and compassionate towards your, your digestion and your liver. So use coconut oil when you can. Bone broth is the other one that I encourage people to make. And if you don't know how to make bone broth, you can visit my website at omnihealingarts.com, which has an entire write-up in my blog section about the theory and relevance and the uses of bone broth and how to make it. So I encourage you to visit the website to do so. In terms of our practices, if you are a yoga practitioner or a Tai Chi practitioner or some kind of movement art practitioner, our practices should slow down. Again, using nature as a signpost, everything in nature slows down, therefore our exercises should mirror that. So do less in your exercise. In terms of traditional exercise, don't exercise for prolonged periods of time. Again, nature is telling us to rest during the winter time. So I encourage people to keep your metabolism up, do short, interval high intensity training. What that looks like is one minute of high intensity exercise, one minute off, one minute on, one minute off for 10 to 12 minutes. This boosts the metabolism and you can do this once or twice a day. But again, that will keep you from over-exercising, which is what you want to avoid during the winter. Lastly, in terms of our own personal feng shui, our external environments in our lives, the first thing is, is to dim your lights at night or have less lights on. Nature is constantly telling us during the winter season to sleep more because the days are shorter. That's nature's way of saying sleep more, digest more, go to bed earlier. So turning our lights off or keeping them dimmer helps us to do that. So keep that in mind. Next, keep your windows cracked at least a quarter of an inch in your home when you have your heat running. Because if you do not have fresh air with negative ions coming in, the immune system does not function properly. And you don't want to make your home a breeding ground for bacteria and for flu and for viruses and those kinds of things. So keep your windows gently cracked. And lastly, if you don't use essential oils, use them. Use grapefruit and eucalyptus. Both are naturally antiseptic. You can put them in your bath or you can diffuse them in your home. 
which will keep your lungs and your body strong during the winter season. So thank you and happy holidays. Discover your health and happiness here at Rise Wellness. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Namaste.